if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me. To inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horses Wrestling Rodeo. Uh, okay. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I got lucky? I'm saying you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm gonna base my opinion of you on that, not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taken the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as Fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Pick your best one and have them meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it.
Hey! When did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM, you being one of them. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages, remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting matfished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah, and it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, Make sure to pick up that dongle. Here comes the Irish ace of WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. Defying all odds, it's the Dark Horse.
such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more he has to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity. Oh my gosh, what impact! He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Oh, my goodness, what a knee strike. Consecutive attacks keeping McDonough off his game. JD needs to be resourceful in this situation. And that will begin to test McDonough's composure. into the corner. just being pushed around. Yeah, this Flurry's proven to be quite the challenge for him here. Vicious knee. Uh -oh. SOS! Is it enough? And he breaks the count quickly. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Rope step, corkscrew plancha. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And he slides him back to the mat. Waiting for their fallen opponent and a step up sent on. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. JD needs to be resourceful. Look out! Leg drop from the top rope. Watch this the prettiest moonsault ever. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Hits him with the counter. JD showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Yeah, but McDonough needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Able to get the advantage here. And now JD playing the intimidation game with his opponent. JD McDonough for the win. His arm shot off the mat before one. He didn't even let the ref start the count. Oh my god, what a kick! Ooh! Connects on the kick! The kick lands. Oof! He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Heading up, he's thinking big! Ooh, man! Capitalizing on JD's mistake. And then a double stomp to the lower back. A oh, step up set on. Springboard fails to connect on the springboard. Running knee lift.
Look out! High risk! No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Into the bit. Hanging his opponent across the barricade in a couple of sharp shots. It's a lot of distance to cover. Can this superstar do it from the apron? Fuck screw leg drop! And now gets tossed into the ring. Setting up for something massive. Here it comes. Lights out. JD cut open, but we've seen before that the Irish ace doesn't mind at all. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Cinched in. Snap man driver. Is that all she wrote for McDonough? The WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. McDonough can't let this loss get him down, though. Even though things didn't go his way, he came in prepared and dangerous. And as addictive as he can be, we know this isn't the end. 